Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Hope you're having an amazing day. Now today guys, me and Hansi <laughs> are going to be, um, or Hansi's I should say, installing some grow lights in my office, which is also my grow room. <laughs> we have um, a grow light already up here, which is a good one, especially for, um, a bit for growing young seedlings and things like that. And then we have the UFO ones here. Um, and we normally have one over here, but we're going to install it again a little bit higher up. And we're going to be putting some um, two more across here so the ferns and also the alocasia will get light as well and we have a window here which is south facing but this is going to give extra light especially over the winter that the plants are going to need and the lights we're going to be installing are these uh, UFO ones from Kingbo 50 watt uh, LEDs and I, I did do I did make a video a couple of years ago when we first got these lights and they're very very good this is our, our third year using them and we're very happy with them so if you if you want to see a video when we actually did these do watch that video links up above and I also give a review on these lights as well so do check that out if you want to know what uh, lights we are going to be putting up links as I say are up above and also do check out my wonderful um, fiance Hansi's channel family of cactusy and other beauties links also up above <laughs> and this video is going to be um, filming the stages of us installing these grow lights and uh, show you how it's done thank you darling <laughs> now Hans has fitted a special um, little bolt in there as I say this is where the, the grow light was originally but we're going to be moving it across because we've got more plants on this side it's special screws for plasterboards you know ah fantastic that, yeah, yeah. So it's a buff. and then Hans um, very, screwed very. that in there we're going to show you when we when Hans does the other two I'll show you how he does it that's Hans putting in the a little screw in there so we can hang the grow lights on very clever now that's the grow lights here and Hans is then going to be attaching attaching the grow light to the little hanging down bolt there that is attached and these grow lights are brilliant because they're really weightless they weigh practically nothing they're so light so if you're worried about putting them up on the ceiling and bringing your ceiling down they won't they're as light as feathers guys so i'm um, happy days that's uh the first one up now for the for the other two and there's hansi he's going to be um screwing the special uh, holder into the wall there <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and now he's going to be putting the, the special hook. Yeah, that just screws in like that. And it also means that when you, like me and Hans rent, so we have to be careful what we drill into the wall. But it means that when we do move on in the future, they're easy to come out and just fill it up again with plaster and paint over without any damage to the to the ceilings. No. Great. That's good. Very good. <laughs> yeah. These are these grow lights here, nicknamed UFOs. And as I say, I have done a, a full review on these already. Um, so I don't need to go into detail about these particular lights. And also on this video, when we put these up, we're going to show you all the other type of different types of grow lights we've got around our house for all our plants. We've got lots in different rooms and different types and different brands, and they all do pretty much the same thing. They're all very good. There we go. So easy to install as well. Now grow light number three up here. As I say, Hans is doing the same thing, fitting the special special screw at the end of the um, the drill there. I'll come around just so you can see. go that's the the hook installed in there happy days now for the third grow light to go on <laughs> great Hansi and we've got these little special clips there that you can clip on onto the end I was just going to show you in case you have have these lights 
very good. And as I say, I'm going to show you a tour around all the different lights we have in our house. We have some on our stairs and mm. some in Hans's grow room and also some downstairs too. And, uh, these are great for hooking up. <laughs> They're great for overwintering plants. As I say, a lot of our plants we have in the yard and in the polytunnel during the spring and summer months, but we have to bring a lot in the house for the winter. And um, I'm sure a lot of you all the same that stuck for light for the in the house. So grow lights are just amazing. Years ago, they used to be quite expensive to run, but since LEDs came about, they are just amazing. So they're so cost effective as well. Really good. So it saves on the electricity bill. It costs bill. more to to cook potatoes. <laughs> yeah, and we love potatoes, don't we? <laughs> so happy day. I have lots of light in my office and grow room here. There we go. And then once they're all installed, we're going to show you what they look like when they're on. <laughs> happy days. Yippee. That's the three lights installed. Yay. Woohoo, there we go, the lights are on. And isn't that great, guys? So the um, alacarsia and all the ferns are gonna get plenty of light, yeah. And um, we can just switch it on and off in the office. Now, because we're overwintering these plants, we're not gonna be having them, having them on for 12 hours or 18 hours a day, like we normally would if we were growing the plants, um, the ferns and the alacarsia, having a bit of a winter rest, but we just wanna add, add a bit of light where there's no windows. So it's going to be perfect here and then we're just going to um, sort out this one here, get this back up and running again and the one in the corner. Now these are the lights we've got here in Hansi's grow room which is also his music studio as well and we have two super duper powered um, grow lights by Kingbow and these are very sort of strong, a lot more stronger than the UFO ones. The reason being is we use these to actually grow plants in uh, most of the ones Hans is overwintering are in the front, uh, sorry, the, in the window there, away from the grow light. But all the seedlings here are all under these super grow lights. And I say every time I mention these grow lights, I put links up above to videos we've made on them in case you're interested. They're from Amazon and a company by uh, Kingbo. Very, very good. We use these for the past two, past year and a half, two years, and very happy. I mean, look at all them seedlings, guys. They're growing amazing, I have to say. All what we've grown ourselves from seed. Now, this is a super duper high powered grow light that we have here to um, overwinter our tall, big, very, very tall, big serious cacti because they're too tall to um, keep normally in the house. So we, the only place we've got with this headroom is on the staircase. Yep, I know we're crazy guys. And um, this is a normal sort of light but we have like an extra high powered um, light that fits in there, like a grow light um, that helps this tall one here. But this one is the one by um, Gemma and it's a very powerful one, a Swedish company, very happy with it. And um, as you can see, we're that happy with it that we, when we bought the Brasilia Puncher and it was all in bud and starting to flower, and it's had more flowers since we actually put it inside than we actually, when it actually outside, I mean, look at that. So this just proves that this is a very, very good, very good grow light, guys. Just going to show you that. Just look at that beautiful, beautiful flower there. So it's doing very, very well with this super duper grow light on our stairs. Just proves, guys, you can actually grow plants everywhere. And um, we obviously, these plants we normally have out in the yard for the summer, but they're overwintering, overwintering in the house, and these lights are great for that. Now, these are the grow lights that we have installed in our kitchen, and they do very, very well. And I made a couple of videos on these lights probably about a couple of weeks ago now. Um, they're from Amazon, and they're absolutely brilliant. They're the ones that you clip onto the plant shelves and full spectrum lighting as well. It's great, they've got the goosenecks, so you can maneuver them over the plants. And these, the two back shelves here in our kitchen, we, we sort of um, housing our house plants. And I have to say, they're doing really, really well with these lights, very, very impressed. And here we have another, uh, one of the UFO grow lights here that we've installed in our plant room, at my office upstairs, very, very happy with these. They're, you know, they are really like mobile windows because they give extra light where there's no windows. So as you can see, we have our euphorbis under there doing, doing, doing very well. 
Now this is the grow light that we have in our living room here and we have our Schaeffler plants here and they're close to a window that get that is quite nice and large but this gives them a bit of an extra added boost especially when it starts to go dark of an evening as you can see here and this is the um the, the 50 watt um grow light the gooseneck one by Niello and it's it's very good I have to say and I did a video when we unboxed this and tested it out and very happy with it so as you can see we have a lot of grow lights in our house <gasps> there we go guys that's all of the lights up and running in my office and grow room and it's a big thank you to my fantastic fiance Hansi <laughs> so um, he's amazing guys he's so good at fixing everything I don't know what I would do without him because I wouldn't have a blinking clue how to do all the electrics with this. Although it's very simple if you know what you're doing. But um, this is all the, the UFO grow lights up and running now. The, the new three ones we've installed, well Hans, I should say, has installed here. So our plants are going to be blooming beautiful. And here we have, this is another special light by Kimbo. And what I'm going to do is put the links up above when I just talk about the lights. Um, to the videos we did where we did the reviews on these lights, absolutely fantastic here, and the other UFO one as well, which is going to be great for all our all our cacti and succulents here in the window. And as I say, this is in front of a south-facing window, so these lights we're only going to have on probably just mainly on dull, cloudy days, just to overwinter them. If you wanted to get them to carry on growing, we'd leave the lights on probably about 18 hours a day, but 12 hours certainly, but. Just for overwintering, we're just going to have them probably about three to four hours a day, a bit of an extra boost. And these ones over here, because they're away from the window, but because they are ferns, they like a lot more shade. Even the Alocasia likes a lot more shade. Just to overwinter, probably have these lights on about three or four hours a day, just to give a bit of an additional boost because they're away from the window at this, at this time of year. So I think it's going to be nice and uh, bright here to put over winter in. So very, very happy. And um, guys, if you want to know a little bit more on how to overwinter uh, cacti and succulents, and you just want to know a bit more about cacti and succulents in general, please do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. And I'm also going to put links probably at the end of this video in the, um, the little ones you click on, on how to overwinter cacti. It's a video I made a few years ago. Um, and we didn't have the grow lights then, so I'll say probably a few different things, but the principle is the same. So do check that video out, guys. And as I say, very happy with the grow lights. Highly recommended, and it's ideal when you live like the Hans in Ireland. We're in Northern Ireland, not the sunniest climate, especially in winter. And um, if you're like the majority of people, you have a lot of plants. There's only so many windows you've got. You have to have grow lights to put in, in spots where you haven't got windows. And grow lights are like mobile windows. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for watching. And I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of plant and light power from across the Emerald Isle. And until the next video, bye. Woo!